You can bet your bottom dollar. Great programming coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Stand by. Hold on. Talk at its finest, coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. In about two minutes, stand by. guys are talking about stand by a great show coming up next on the Stewart media and entertainment network in about 30 seconds stand by don't go away stop 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 If they're talking about it at the barbershop, we're talking about it here on SME. Great show coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stand by. It's time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another great product on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yeah! Up next, right here on Spreaker, it's your boy, the governor of Minnesota. Sports talk, that is. The big, smooth Vince Wright coming to you live with Sports Done Right. Keep it locked. It's about time you got it right. Up next, it's your boy, the big, smooth Vince Wright. Broadcasting live from the Sportstacular Governor's Mansion. The governor of sports talk, that is. 
and he's got your ticket to all the latest sports-related news, events, and hot topics. Are you ready to get it right? Sports Done Right, up next. ready and get over here. Right now? You're darn tootin'. Don't you know it's time for the governor's weekly address? Live from the office of Minnesota's number one sports authority, he's the governor of Sports Talk Radio, and by way of executive order, serving you a stimulating dose of sports done right. And what's going on, everybody? Vince Wright. Sports done right with my main man tonight, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to that studio audience up on their feet there. But uh, joining me tonight, the one and only, all the way back from Europe, Mr. Dollars and Cents, or DJ Dollars and Cents, Reggie Lawrence in the house. What's up, Reg? Vince Wright, what's going on, dog? Here it comes, y'all. Here it comes. Damn right. Oh, <laughs> buddy. I got a bone to pick with your hating ass. Well, we got two hours to get into that nonsense, Reggie. <laughs> mm-hmm. In case you, uh, for the folks that are new out there, first off, thank you. This is Sports Done Right. We're going a little bit different tonight due to some scheduling conflicts on the uh, Stewart Media and Entertainment Network later this week. The co-host of the Sports and More show has decided to join me tonight, and that's Reggie Lawrence. So uh, it's sports done right in name only tonight. The co-host of my other show is here to, to join us. And also, folks, we had to get Reggie up in here because he's been very busy lately with work and some other stuff. He's been in Europe. He's been in Vegas. And he's basically been on the road while his Cleveland Cavaliers have finally put a uh, into that hellacious winning streak of that uh, mistake by the lake of a city called Cleveland. And now he's here to let you know about it. And we're going to get into that a little bit later, Reggie. I know you're I know you, you you're burning, baby. You ready to just come out like a, a buck and bull on that one. But, yeah, man, we got a whole bunch of other stuff to get into. We're going to have some fun tonight on the uh, Stewart Media Entertainment Network here. So, Reg, what else has been up with you, man? You've been traveling. Yeah, I spent about two two weeks over in Denmark visiting my awesome kids. They're getting big. Um, my daughter, Jayla, cool. t- 10, my son, Devin, 5, and um, my other stepson, Marlon's 15. It was a great time. Had a lot of fun. I was able to spend some time with the kids. Yeah. And then as soon as I got back, I had to hop back on a plane and go to Vegas for our national sales meetings for about a week. So, yeah, I was on the road quite a bit and... I've been jet lagged probably in about four or five different time zones, but I was definitely able to see my Cleveland Cavaliers come through in game seven, baby. Yeah, very, you know, well done, man. Well done. I just hit the applause uh, for you there as well. Man, first off, and, and thank you for joining us here in the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Reg, I got to give the boys credit. But again, I want to hold off into that because I'm hoping some other people here will be joining us a little later. Been waiting to take some shots at you. And apparently some people owe you uh, some apples. Uh, got some dollars coming your way, don't you? 
I do. I have dollars. They can pay me in cents. Uh, e- <laughs> EBT careful, cards. Careful. <laughs> no, no, you don't want cents. <laughs> Food stamps. I don't care. I just want my damn money. Right on, right on, man. And again, Reggie from the Cleveland area. So he going to let loose. Uh, other some sad things happening today in the world of sports as well. Obviously, the death of Pat Summit. We'll talk a little bit about that. And, uh, you know, uh, not only one hell of a coach, but, you know, in my opinion, she created modern day women's basketball, Reg. Yeah, I would agree. I even, you know, growing up, I didn't follow much female sports, but I'll be honest, I always knew of the name Pat Summit just because of the Tennessee Volunteers. And she was a great coach, a pioneer, and really, I think, started females on the path of notoriety as far as, you know, big time sports. Absolutely. Yeah, and don't forget also, unfortunately, you know, usually deaths come in too, but I think, was it Buddy Ryan that passed away? Buddy Ryan, away? I was just going to mention Buddy as well. You know, the architect of the 46 defense, arguably, but in my opinion, the greatest singular defense I've ever seen. Uh, head coach up in Philadelphia as well. We'll talk about Buddy, his legacy on the game. He leaves two kids, uh, obviously, in the coaching game as well. So we're going to give Buddy his props as well. Yeah, definitely. That um, you know, usually they come in too. And like I said, man, it's been a rough year for us with just a lot of different. Oh, twenty sixteen has been horrible, right? man. I mean, Prince yeah. and you know, just all kinds of things. When they play that thing at the end of the year, that that big obituary, like on award shows and then just TV yep. and stuff, it's gonna be sad this year, man. Yeah, I think I remember the the one thing I remember, and I don't know what game it was, but Buddy Ryan had his headset. And I remember him arguing or whatever with one of the coaches. And then next thing you know, you just see him punching the, the coach in the face on the sideline. And he just kind of kept it moving. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, it was one of those coaches that I'd love to play for. And I think a lot of players would, and they talk about it. Oh, I totally agree. And uh, first off, I want to say what up to my main man, part of that Minnesota Mafia, Mr. R.C. Ronald Cameron up in Duluth, Minnesota. What's up, R.C.? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, R.C., thanks for joining us, man. Hey, I wanted to ask you, how, how you like me now? That's coming from oh, a Cleveland geez. Cavalier fan, baby. <laughs> <laughs> R.C. going to let you know what he think about it. And R.C., on a, on a boxing note here, and again, folks, thanks for listening to Sports Done Right. Uh, I, what, I want to know what you think about this delay in the fact of the Triple G fight with Canelo Alvarez being pushed back to the end of 2017. Well, we can talk about that a little later on, but I thought that was kind of a punk move by De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions there. But, man, boxing really losing out on having a great fight this year, Reggie. It's all corrupt, man. I've been telling you that for a while. I, I hate boxing because for the simple fact, the great fighters do not fight each other on a regular and in their prime. So to me, it's darn near unwatchable, and I refuse to pay any type of money for boxing. Now, I would I would pay to see Mayweather fight, uh, what's his name, from uh, Ireland. Oh, uh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, what, McGregor? Is that his name, yeah, Conor McGregor? Conor McGregor, yeah. Uh, now, you know, man, it, it, sure, it would be an event, but short of MMA, which he obviously ain't going to do, He's going to kill McGregor. How you say that? Your boy ain't knocked nobody out in forever. Oh, forever. Man. Come on, Reg. You ain't <laughs> buying into this nonsense. Folks, thank you for listening. Have a good night. This show is now, over. Hold on. What hold are on. you talking about? Wait a minute what? now. I didn't say he would beat him. I didn't say <sighs> Connor would beat him. I'm just saying he might <laughs> give him a fight, you know, four or five rounds. He might run because your boy has been running forever. <laughs> huh? What you think about that, man? I think you're full of you know what, man. I think you're I, full of you know what. Now, if I wasn't on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, I tell you exactly what you're full of. Listen to the gov. This is why the people elected me up here in this great state of Minnesota. First off, McGregor has no chance if it's a boxing match, homeboy. No chance. What are you talking about?